Hi guys, welcome to my first update for It's Panning Cats and Dogs 2. This is a fantastic ladies collab and it was created by Deb from Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. I will have links to their channels in the description box below. It's so much fun. Oh gosh, I love this project. I'm so happy they brought it back. I don't think it's coming back next year. So if you're interested in this project, you should jump on it now because I don't think it's coming back. I know either this or the happy hour on her video, she said that they weren't doing it next year. So um, I think it was this one. Hop on, hop on. You can start in January, you can start in February. Just do it and have fun. I am doing my spinny wheel, everything on my spinny wheel. So the prompts that were chosen for me uh, the first one was black cat and I put in the, and it was black, a black product or black packaging. Um, I put in the Kat Von D, or I'm sorry, KVD. This is the Mod Con gel contour. It's a little warm for a contour, but I really like it. I really like it. Um, I usually do this underneath my foundation. Sometimes not, sometimes on top but usually underneath my foundation. Um, I had a 10 use goal on that and I met it. I actually used it 17 times. I did it, I used it almost every time I did makeup this past month. The next one was Shih Tzu or Maltese and that was something small that makes a big impact or something like that. Something small that has a big impact. I brought my props up. Thought that would, I thought that would help a little bit. Something small that makes a big impact. It could be a pigment, a highlight, whatever. And this is definitely small and it makes a big impact. And this is my Cleona single shadow in the shade Kiln. Guys, um, it's actually what I have on the middle of my lid right now. And that is what it looks like. It is like a copper gold to fuchsia type flip. It is gorge. I love it. I set a five use goal on that and I met it. I did. The next one was for the prompt treats and it's something that you brought, something that you bought to treat yourself. And I brought in the Flora and Curl Soothe Me Coconut Mist, I'm sorry, Coconut Mint Curl Refresh Clay Wash. I have a three use goal on this because I only do it like once every two or three weeks, sometimes once a month. It is a powder. You mix it with water. You put it on your hair. It's re It refreshes your curls. If your curls have been kind of, mm, it refreshes them. I did not use this at all. I have not used this at all yet. So that is staying in. The next one is for the prompt lab slash golden retriever. Those are hunting dogs, something that you had to hunt down to buy. And for me, it's the NYX liquid suede liquid lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. I have a few of these. This is Soft Spoken. You can't find them anymore. Uh, I can occasionally find them on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure they discontinued them, which breaks my heart because the only thing that I found that I like as much as this is the Elf liquid lipstick, which they've also discontinued. <laughs> So I have the shade Praline that I got from my friend, Laura, and, um, yeah, they discontinued those two. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, I brought this in for 10 uses. I met those 10 uses. I am actually on, I have it on the, the middle of my lips today underneath a gloss, underneath a gloss. And, um, I actually used it 13 times because it's one of my favorite things. I love it. I love it. And you guys, I don't know how much is left in here. It's, it saddens me. It does. And then the last thing that I brought in was the prompt poop bags. And it is something that you always run out of at the worst time. For me, that is a leave-in, a spray leave-in conditioner. I have a cream leave-in that I use and I like a spray leave-in for days I'm just refreshing my hair. I'll mist it in and re-scrunch. And this was the Not Your Mother's All Eyes on Me. This is a dupe for the It's a 10. It is. Um, something that 
somebody something that people may not like about this it is it it does have a fragrance it is a clean fragrance but it is fragrance and i can smell it on my hair um it's, it's not a bad fragrance it's a nice fragrance but if you don't like scented things if you don't like fragranced items you might not like this okay i brought this in to finish it is gone it is completely gone when it wouldn't spray anymore I got out my trusty spatula that I got from Amazon and I dug it out and I decanted it into this little Tatcha thing. And as you can see, it's all gone. It's all gone. So I did use that. And do I have a backup of that? No, because I ran out of it at the worst possible time. You guys, I ran out of it and I didn't pick. <laughs> so if it the prompt perfectly because I ran out again. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so that's my progress. The only thing that is rolling over is the Flora and Curl clay wash. I really have to make a point to use that. I do. Got my spinny wheel. We're going to choose four prompts and then I'm going to go get my items. And then when I come back and show you what items I chose, I will tell you what the prompts mean. So let's start with number one. Service emotional support animal. Okay, we're going to remove that. And let's pick number two. Scratching post. Why do I feel like that's a nail product? I feel like it's a nail product. I don't do anything to my nails. I don't. <sighs> Number three. Best of breed. I will definitely elaborate on that when we come back. And then the last one. Beagle, Scent Hound. Oh, why do I think that that's a fragrance? <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going to go off camera. I am going to... Stop. I am going to go off camera, and I'm going to look and see what these prompts mean. I'm going to pick my items. We'll come back. We'll discuss. I'll show you what I picked and what my usages are. Don't go anywhere. Okay, you guys. I chose my items. I'm not entirely excited about a couple of these because um, they're not things that I usually use, but I have them in my collection, so I'm going to use them. Otherwise, they're just wasting money just sitting there. So let's start with service or emotional support animal. It's something that's loyal, a product that never lets you down. Well, something that I wear every single time I do makeup that never lets me down is a black liner. This is the Colorstay. Oh no, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate. And I have that much left. I'm going to finish this. This is in to finish. Now, I have one liner that I'm working on, not in a project, just on my own. It is the Tristique, and that is all I have left. So that's like two more uses, maybe, maybe f less than five. We'll say less than five uses. Um, so I'm not going to start on this liner until this is done, but this is going to be done in like a few days, a few days. So then I'm going to start working on this. I'm going to finish it. It's into finish. Yes. Um, I wear a black liner every single time I do makeup. I just tight line with it. But every time I do makeup, I wear a black liner. Next is scratching post. It is any nail product. Well, now that I don't get my nails done regularly, I did that for years. And I decided when I decided to cut costs, I decided it wasn't important. And so I don't really do much to my nails. But I do have this China Glaze Nail Strengthener. 
um, which I do like. I just, oh, I never remember to put it on. So I'm going to use this five times, five times. And then we're going to skip the next one and we're going to go to Beagle. And that is a scent hound. So any scented product, as I've said before, I don't know, maybe not on this project, but I don't really care for scented things. Like I don't like, I have three perfumes that I really like and that's it. But I have this magic in the air from Bath and Body Works. Um, it is an ultimate hydration. It is the body cream. Um, I don't hate this. I have this and the body spray. I was smelling all the different ones uh, to buy something for my daughter last year, which she needs to do her own Bath and Body Works project because she doesn't need any more at all. Um, but I smelled this and I'm like, you know, that's not bad. So I bought myself the body cream and the spray. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this 10 times. I'm going to use it 10 times. You guys, I just freaked out because I was like, did I not draw enough? Yeah, because I had one left over. Whatever. So anyway, I'm going to use this 10 times. Whatever. Um, and the last one is best of breed. And it says, tell us about your pet, past or present, and you're to choose an item that you love with all of your heart. Well, first we're going to talk about Luna. Come here. Come here. She's always right here with me when I film. This is Luna, and this is not my dog. This is my grand dog. This is my daughter's dog. I've had her on several of my videos. She is the sweetest. She is the sweetest dog. She, ugh, don't hate me for this, you guys. Don't come at me. I never thought I would like a little dog. I'm not a little dog person. I like big dogs. And she came into our lives and I was like, oh, some yippy little, she's a Cheweenie. She is a Cheweenie and she's more Chihuahua than Wiener dog. Um, but she's definitely, she definitely has some dachshund features. Um, but she is the sweetest dog and she's so smart and she's so good. Yes, you are so good. I love you so much. I do. And she's just been such a joy to have around. And when Bailey, when Bailey takes her with her to, when she goes to her biological dad's house, when she's um, when she works, she works three twelves and she works about an hour and a half away. Well, it's really close to where her biological dad lives. And so she stays with him, um, on like a, for a few days while she's working. And sometimes she takes Luna with her and um, Anthony and I are not happy when she does that because she's so sweet and I miss her when she's gone. So that is Miss Luna. Luna, Boona, Booty, Boo. What else are you? Luna Lynn. Yeah. So those are all her names. Because you know you just don't have one name. And then the second dog I want to talk about. I'm doing two. Um, the second dog I want to talk about is Gracie. And if you've been with me any length of time, you know Gracie very well. Gracie, unfortunately, had to be uh, put down last um, November. She had cancer and um, she was 14. So we didn't do any treatment for her because she was 14. And she was a German short-haired pointer. And she was, again, the sweetest the sweetest dog. German short-haired pointers are known for being really crazy. She wasn't. We got her from the pound when she was three years old. And um, they're hunting dogs, but we never hunted her. But man, she had a nose. And she loved being outside. And she loved, I mean, she was an inside dog, but she would go out. It, we have a fenced in backyard and she would go out and she would just stay out there and she loved being out there and 
hunting squirrels and hunting rabbits and hunting all the things in the yard that have gone in the yard and she can smell them. And she was, she was my, she was my partner in crime. She was my little soulmate dog. Like she was just the best dog. I could not ask for a better dog than Gracie. And she was just so sweet. So when we had to put her down, so when we had to put her down last year, it was very hard for our whole family and we still miss her very, very much. So <sighs> it's still new, you guys. It's, it's just now been a year and it's, it's hard. It's really hard to lose a child like that. She is they They become your children. Um, okay. So something that you love with all your heart. Stone Cold Fox palette by ColourPop is my favorite palette. I love it with all my heart. And so I am going to bring in two shades from here. I'm going to bring in the black shade for Luna. And I'm going to bring in this chocolatey brown shade for Gracie. And I need to use each of those 10 times. Yes. So this might be in for a couple of months, but that's good. That's good. So... So let's recap, you guys, recap. So for service, emotional support animal, so something that never lets you down, I am bringing in my black liner for uh, to finish, to finish. Um, next is scratching post, any nail item. I'm bringing this in for five uses. For best of breed, we have our Stone Cold Fox palette, and I am bringing in this shade and this shade to use 10 times each. Next one is Beagle Scent Hound. Next one is Beagle, which is a scent hound, bringing in this for 10 uses. And then the last thing that's in the project is the Flora and Curl. This was for the prompt treat, something that you bought to treat yourself. Flora and Curl Soothe Me Coconut Mint Curl Refresh Clay Wash. So that's it, you guys. Those are all my items. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing this project. I know a couple people that have picked it up and I love that. Um, I just love sharing projects with people. That's why I love these big Pantastic Ladies collab projects because there's so many people that are doing them and you get to meet and uh, connect with so many new people. And I have met some really amazing people, uh, creators, uh, after signing up for some of the Pantastic Ladies collab projects. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.